Good morning to Alton High School. We are back for another Weekly Wolf video. I hope everyone enjoyed their spring break and did something fun and enjoyed their break. Now, I will be passing it on to David for some weekly announcements. What's up, T-Wolves? I hope everyone's doing well, and here are your announcements for the week. Hey, Wolves, here's some information from our very own Tualatin Shack. Not being in school physically this year means we, ha we spend a lot of time in our at-home workspaces. In order to really make the most out of this year, it's critical that we have a positive, focus-friendly workspace. Not having the right balance of focus and relaxation can make it really difficult to get schoolwork done. Your area should be quiet and comfortable, with natural light. If possible, it's best not to have your space in the room where you sleep or watch TV. You can also decorate your room to make it enjoyable and fun, a place you want to be. Minimalist designs and personal touches, such as plants or family photos, can really improve your focus. Just making an effort in general can help make your workspace more focus-friendly. Congrats to fall sports teams for starting their season this past week. Keep an eye out for them this fall slash spring season and roll wolves. Students, are you interested in running for ASB? If you want to learn more about ASB work, directorship, and proposals, you can join one of our meetings at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Email Mr. Eunice for more information at muniss at ttsd.k12.or.us. News from the College and Career Center. Do you have questions or need help making plans for after graduation? Come to the College and Career drop-in via Google Meet. Find the link in the College and Career Center website, which you can access through the THS website counseling tab. Now, let's take a look at all the events on the calendar this week. My name is Ashley Takembo and um, I'm making my loving bars today so hopefully you'll enjoy. <laughs> um, so what I, what I have in this bowl is one cup of um, iron salad butter, half a cup of sugar, two, te two teaspoon of, of vanilla extract and one half teaspoon of salt and two cups per two tablespoon of flour. Now I'm mixing all the ingredients together. Hopefully it looks like this until well softened. I think this is well mixed, so we are turn off that. And here, baking pan. Then I put all the wet ingredients to the baking pan. Okay. Um. So we're gonna bake the crust till 20 to 20 minutes. So let's get started. Hold on. Hi everybody! Now I made the filling. It has two cups of sugar, six tablespoons of flour, six eggs, one half cup of lemon juice, and that's it. And I'm going to take out the pie crust, the crust from the oven, so then we, you're going to pour the filling over the warm crust. Okay. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, let's just go down. So, I forget my, uh, the, my pan is too small, so uh, I can put it back in the oven, hopefully. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to. And I can put the back. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna bake that for 26 minutes. What's up? I'm Tommy. And I'm Joey. We recently won the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Students of the Year fundraising competition. Students of the Year is a seven-week fundraising campaign where several teams of students from different high schools across Oregon aim to raise as much money as possible for LS, otherwise known as the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We are honored to be able to work with a team of amazing students these last couple of months, including a couple from Twalds in high school. With their help, we were able to bring our family, friends, and peers together to fight for a cure. Our goal is to raise $50,000 between January 14th and March 7th this year. We knew this was a lofty goal that would require a lot of work, but with the help of the family, friends, and, to, and the Tualatin community, we were able to crush our goal and raise over $60,000. We were able to raise this money through letter writing, emails, corporate sponsorships, and fundraising events. Some of our fundraising events included selling Super Bowl squares, cleaning up debris in the community following February's ice storm, partnering with Chipotle for a fundraising night, and much more. None of these events would have been successful without the participation of our community, which is why we're so grateful for our neighbors and friends here in Tualatin. We were really thankful to get this opportunity, and we're so thankful for the help of our friends, family, and community for helping us accomplish such a feat in raising so much money against a horrible disease like cancer that affects so many people's lives. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the interviews this week. Um, this week we have the Student Voice Council with us, so let's take a second to get to know them. Good morning. Good morning, Wolves. Um, we have many students who are also on this group, but we are appreciative of some time this morning to talk about Student Voice Council. I'm Mr. Delerba, the principal, and my primary role is to listen to the, the concerns of Student Voice Council, but also look for ways to get them involved. And I'll let others in the meeting talk more about that. I'm Hasmin Chavez. I'm the Family Partnership Advocate here at the high school. Um, my role is to help um, families and our students um, by uh, finding resources available in the community. And if, any, if anybody has any questions, they can always come to me. And I, if I don't have the answer, I will definitely find it for them. And uh, my name is Martin Alvarez, and I am the Cultural Responsive Coordinator. Um, I am within the office of the DEN, and uh, I'm excited to be here. I work with uh, different groups of students, um, mostly our affinity groups and other uh, student and parent groups. Awesome. Uh, so let's get into the first question. Uh, firstly, just tell me a little bit about what the Student Voice Council actually is. So the Student Voice Council is a very diverse group of students um, made of uh, students of different uh, ethnic backgrounds, um, students from different uh, grades. We have freshmen, we have seniors, we have juniors, um, but as well as other student organizations and affinity groups. Um, so basically we come together uh, once a month um, and sit down with our admin team, with Mr. Delerba, with Hasmin, um, and other staff, and we talk and discuss things that are going on within our school. Um, we believe that our student voice um, is very important in the decisions that we make, as well as the feedback to us, and that's the reason why we're there. Um, so we can present to our students um, kind of things that might be going on in our school to get an, an opinion, to get their perspective on uh, how that might impact them at the end. Uh, Hasmin, Mr. Delerba, anything you would like to add? I just wanna say it's a great opportunity for students to um, raise their voices and bring in their um, their thoughts and opinions. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for collaboration within staff and administrative and, and student students. 
I would just um, add that some of the some of our agenda on a monthly basis is driven by the students and what they want to bring to the table for discussion. Some is brought from administration to them for the for their consideration and feedback before we make a decision. And it's also a place to bring up issues, uh, you know, where where uh, they would you know like some collaboration with. And then also we have some projects going, and one of those projects is uh, really trying to um, re recreate a more uh, open and uh, culturally responsive space in our library, but also a space that's um, more anchored in what our, what our school values and, and getting, getting feedback from students on that is I think essential uh, for our move forward and, and our work forward in general as a school. Uh, this is my first outfit. I'm wearing a midi dress and a cropped white cardigan and I feel like this is a great outfit for a picnic because it's summery and right now it's really cold but during the summer it would be a really cute outfit. Um, I picked platform Mary Janes because I'm 5'3 and I thought it would make me look taller. Um, and then I'm wearing white socks because it ties in with the white cardigan and I feel like all together it looks really put together and then I have a canvas toe with butterflies on it. Um, for my picnic outfit I'm wearing this midi skirt with a sweater tank top and a vintage Benetton men's like button up and I'm wearing the button up because it ties in like my top with my skirt because of like the similar colors of green. For my shoes, I'm wearing these Nikes, and they're nice because they're like Air Force Ones. And I'm wearing these two layered necklaces because my top is a little bit like low cut, and so the the two necklaces like add an extra detail um, in the empty space. Yeah. Um, for my second outfit, I really wanted to portray quarter life crisis, and so I'm wearing Lululemon leggings, um, Nike socks, an oversized Oregon State sweatshirt that I found at the Goodwill bins, and some yellow Crocs thanks to Mahathi. It's super casual and really comfy, and the Crocs really bring it all together. You might get some weird stares if you go to a grocery store like we did, but for the most part, it's a really cute outfit and I would definitely recommend. So this is my quarter life crisis look and I feel like it's really fitting because my Spanish oral exam is on Thursday and I'm really stressed out about it, so I've been living in my sweats. And then I'm wearing these fun, like, Bowden socks that I got for Christmas and they're my favorite item like article of clothing that I own and lastly I'm wearing my Crocs my Cro actually scratch that my Crocs are my favorite article of clothing that I own slash pair of shoes and they've got some fun gibbets on them my Crocs have been everywhere with me and they're my true ride or dies in these tough times Well, that's the end of the Weekly Wolf. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of your week. And make sure to be kind to one another and roll wolves.